सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर ट्वेल्व फर्स्ट एड एंड सेफ्टी पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी सेवन ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन वी ऑल ऑब्जर्व दैट वेन इंडिविजुअल्स फॉल इल और आर इंजर्ड दे आर टेकन टू हॉस्पिटल और डॉक्टर्स फॉर ट्रीटमेंट but it takes time to reach them during which if some initial care is taken it helps treatment of such individuals and in many cases saves their lives we also observe that some of the minor illnesses or injuries are cured by taking such initial care however this care cannot be taken unless we are aware and trained in first aid in the present lesson we shall discuss various aspects of first aid and safety 12.2 what does first aid mean first aid is the provision for initial care for an illness or injury it is usually performed by a non expert person to a sick or injured person until appropriate medical treatment can be accessed in a hospital or by going to a doctor certain self limiting illnesses or minor injuries may not require further medical care after the first aid intervention it generally consists of a series of simple and in some cases potentially life saving techniques that an individual can be trained to perform with minimal equipment the first aid training therefore is of value in both preventing and treating sudden illness or accidental injury and in caring for large number of persons caught in a natural disaster it is a measure both for self help as well as for the help of others figure 12.1 first aid box in this figure we can see a first aid box in this box we can see there are plasters in a variety of sizes and shapes we can also see small medium and large sterile gauge dressings there are some safety pins there are some bandages a pair of scissors an antiseptic liquid cotton swabs and other items now continuing with the chapter 12.2.1 self help if you as a first aider are prepared to help others you are better able to care for yourself in case of injury or sudden illness even if your own condition keeps you from caring for yourself you can direct others in carrying out correct procedures to follow on your behalf 12.2.2 help for others having studied first aid you are prepared to give others some instruction in first aid to promote among them a reasonable safety attitude and to assist them wisely if they are stricken there is always an obligation on a humanitarian basis to assist the sick and the helpless there is no greater satisfaction than that resulting from relieving suffering or saving a life activity time now we have two activities for you the first one is activity 12.1 make a first aid box and keep in your classroom make one student in charge so that all students know whom to reach in an emergency next activity activity number 12.2 do you know how to apply bandage do you know what treatments are applied for bruises and cuts discuss the above in your class and demonstrate page number 178 12.3 why first aid the main objective of first aid is not to cure but to ensure safety until the patient or affected person accesses specialized treatment it is the initial assistance or care of a suddenly sick or injured person it is the care administered by a person as soon as possible after an illness or accident it is this prompt care and attention prior to the arrival of the ambulance that sometimes creates the difference between life and death or between a full or partial recovery as shown in box 12.1 the major objectives of first aid are number 1 to ensure that the victim reaches the place of specialized treatment safely and life is not lost in between 
number 2 to prevent further harm that is the injury that has taken place does not deteriorate further number 3 to prevent the danger of further injury and number 4 to promote recovery that is necessary intervening care is taken in a way that promotes recovery and relieves the victim of pain and uneasiness now we have a box for you on the top of the page box number 12.1 it reads the basic objectives of first aid are to give immediate care to protect the casualty from further harm to relieve pain to promote recovery the recovery is promoted as the heart rate goes down which in turn prevents blood loss from the victim's body now coming back to the chapter 12.4 first aid in different cases it is essential to know and be trained in the art of providing first aid though it is done by non expert persons it cannot and should not be administered without acquiring adequate knowledge and appropriate skill there are different ways of providing first aid in different cases of accidents and illnesses. Let us take some specific cases and know how first aid is provided. 12.4.1 First Aid for Drowning Many deaths occur because of drowning. Death by drowning occurs when air cannot get into the lungs because of the entrance of a small amount of water into the lungs. This may cause the contraction of the throat. In such cases, efforts are made to remove water from the stomach of the drowned person. Attempting to forcefully remove water from the victim's stomach should be avoided as this may make the victim vomit and there are chances of casualty. A casualty from drowning needs to be treated by a medical doctor, even if he or she seems to recover because, as explained in Box 12.2, a secondary drowning may occur in him or her at a later stage. In this particular situation, the aim of the first aid is to restore breathing, to keep the person warm and to arrange for taking him or her to hospital. Now, we have another box for you. Box number 12.2 Water entering the lungs causes them to be irritated and the air passages to swell several hours later a condition known as secondary drowning. Page 179 The following steps may be taken. Step number 1. Rescue the person and get him or her to the dry land. Keep the person's head lower than the rest of the body to reduce the risk of inhaling water. Step number 2. Lay down the person on his or her back. Open the airway and check breathing. If required, give CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, with chest compression. Step number 3. Treat the person for hypothermia, low body temperature. Remove wet clothes and cover him or her with dry blanket. If the person regains full consciousness, give him or her a warm drink. Step number 4. Call for a doctor or ambulance to transport the person to the nearest hospital as soon as possible, even if she or he appears to have recovered fully. Figure 12.2 Steps for CPR in the case of drowning The figure has three images. In the top one, a person is trying to rescue a drowned person. We can see he has pulled up his head above the water and is supporting the victim's head by his arm, while rest of the body is half drowned in water. In image number 2, we can see people administering CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. One first aider is giving chest compressions, and the other is trying to help with mouth-to-mouth -to -mouth breathing. In the third image, chest compressions are continued. 12.4.2 First aid for fire injuries. When the skin comes in direct contact with fire, it gets damaged. This is known as dry burn. The burn exposes the underlying part of the skin, which increases the chances of infection. 
while assessing the burn it is necessary to consider the circumstances in which the burn has occurred establish the cause of the burn observe the condition of the victim does she or he need immediate medical attention assess the extent of burn or the depth of the burn and determine the degree of risk for infection now we have an activity for you activity number 12.3 the students should be encouraged to ask questions if they have any doubt on the procedure of the first aid in swimming if the swimming facility is available then the life saving technique of drowning can best be practiced by doing in the classroom or physical educational laboratory the students may make use of dummies now at the bottom of the page on the right side we have a box for you box number 12.3 it reads warning water in the lungs can increase the resistance to rescue breaths and chest compressions so these have to be done at a slower rate hypothermia hypothermia develops when the body temperature falls below 35 degrees celsius the effects vary depending on the speed of onset and the level to which the body temperature falls page number 180 now coming back to first aid for fire injuries based on the depth of the skin damage the burns are categorized into three types number 1 a superficial burn this involves only burns on the outermost layer of the skin called the epidermis number 2 a partial thickness a partial thickness burn is generally very painful this destroys the epidermis if such wounds are on more than 20% of the body then it may be fatal number 3 a full thickness a full thickness burn is not painful in most of the cases so it may mislead the first aider and the casualty about the severity of the injury this needs immediate medical attention as the kind of the burns vary so does the kind of first aid needed for various kind of burns a first aid for severe burns in this case the first aid is given to stop burning and relieve pain treat the associate injuries minimize the risk of infection in case of severe burn the following steps need to be taken step number 1 help the casualty to lie down do not allow the injury area to come into direct contact with the ground step number 2 pour cold water on the burn for a minimum of 10 minutes but at the same time arrangement of transport for taking the casualty to hospital should be made continue cooling the affected area until the pain is relieved step number 3 gently remove any ring watch belt and shoes before the tissues begin to swell carefully remove burnt clothing if it is not sticking to the skin step number 4 cover the injured area with the sterile dressing to protect it from infection step number 5 gather and record details of the injury record the level of response pulse and breathing carefully step number 6 while waiting for the help to arrive keep reassuring the casualty in case of burn of the face do not cover the injury because it may cause discomfort to the victim keep cooling the area till the doctor arrives now we have an activity for you activity number 12.4 find out from a health worker parents or neighbor about any person who was given first aid for burn injuries share the experience in the class now on the bottom of the page on the left side we have a box box number 12.4 it reads do not break blisters interfere with the injury apply adhesive dressing apply ointments or fats as they may damage the tissue and increase the chances of infection now coming back to the chapter second kind of first aid needed for various kind of burns b 
फर्स्ट एड फॉर माइल्ड बर्न इन केस ऑफ माइल्ड बर्न फर्स्ट एड इज गिवन टू स्टॉप बर्निंग रिलीव पेन एंड स्वेलिंग मिनिमाइज द रिस्क ऑफ इन्फेक्शन In case of mild burns one should step 1 pour cold water on the injured part for minimum 10 minutes to relieve pain if water is not available then any harmless cold liquid for example milk may be used page number 181 step number 2 remove gently any ring watch belt and shoes before the tissues begin to swell carefully remove burnt clothing if it is not sticking to the skin step number 3 cover the area with a sterile dressing and bandage loosely on the affected area step number 4 if a blister is caused by the burn apply a non adhesive dressing that extends well beyond the edges of the blister and keep it in place until it subsides one should be aware of two significant facts given in boxes 12.5 and 12.6 c first aid for injuries on the play field injuries which occur as a result of participation in the sports activity are known as sports injuries or athletic injuries there are various types of sports injuries these are mentioned in the following table 12.1 the table has two columns the first column says injuries and the second says types under injuries the first heading is skin injuries types abrasion falling on rough or firm surface laceration tears in the skin incision cut by a sharp edge of an object puncture wound pierced by a sharp and pointed object avulsion tearing away of a part of the skin now the second heading under injuries is soft tissue injuries example muscles ligaments types contusion bruise caused by the direct blow to some part of the body for example knee of a player is knocked against thigh of the person second type sprain injury of ligament of joints caused by the violent overstretching of ligament in a joint or the movement of the joint in abnormal directions it is characterized by pain tenderness swelling at the joint third type strain injury of muscle or tendon three types mild moderate severe now the third subheading under injuries joint injuries types joint injuries are very common in sports they are known as joint dislocation dislocation is the displacement of contiguous surfaces of two or more bones which are in a joint causes an external force which forces the joint to move beyond the limits of a joint if the joint is forced to move in an abnormal direction this dislocation can be a complete or a partial displacement of the bones now we have two boxes for you the first one which is on the top right of the page box number 12.5 calluses these are thickening of the epidermis it usually occurs in the palm of the hands or on the sole of the foot due to constant friction or pressure if the calluses crack then it will cause a very painful condition sometimes a blister may develop under the callus when it becomes very hard to prevent cracking soak the body part in water for some time and then scrub it off if it gets infected then consult a doctor box number 12.6 blisters these are caused by the deposition of a type of colorless fluid in between the dermis and epidermis sometimes this fluid may be blood stained this is due to the damage of the blood vessels caused by the continuous frictional force it is normally seen on the hand or palm or on big toe blisters should not be cut rather the fluid inside can be removed by a sterile syringe but only by a doctor page number 
The next and the last heading under injuries is bone injuries. Fracture is a break in the continuity of the bone. The fractures can be open or compound fracture or a closed or simple fracture. Severity of the fracture varies from the mild crack in the bone to the severe shattering of the bone into many pieces. Prevention Since prevention is better than cure, it then becomes essential to take appropriate precautions. Make the area in and around the play field hazard free. In order to prevent injuries, proper warm up is required prior to executing vigorous movements. Similarly, use of appropriate physical conditioning is essential to avoid injury. First aid for strains, sprains, contusions is packaged in the abbreviation RICE, which is rest, icing, compression and elevation as shown in box 12.5. Rest. Stop using injured part or discontinue activity. It could cause further injury, delay healing, increase pain and stimulate bleeding. Use crutches to avoid bearing weight on injuries of the leg, knee, ankle and foot. Use splint for injuries of the arm, elbow, wrist and hand. Ice Ice application contracts blood vessels, helps stop internal bleeding from injured capillaries and blood vessels. Hastens healing time by reducing swelling around injury. Keep damp or dry cloth between skin and ice pack. Do not apply ice for longer than 15 to 20 minutes at a time. Apply every hour for 10 to 20 minutes. Apply ice as long as pain or inflammation persists. Compression Hastens healing time by reducing swelling around injury. Decreases seeping of fluid into injured area from adjacent tissues. Use elasticized bandage, compression sleeve or cloth. Wrap injured part firmly. Do not impair blood supply. Too tight bandage may cause more swelling. Wrap over ice. Loosen the bandage if it gets too tight. Box number 12.7 Rice R stands for rest. I for ice, C for compression and E stands for elevation. Page number 183 Elevation Elevate injured part above the level of heart. Decreases swelling and pain. Use objects and pillows. 12.5 Transporting the person for medical help after giving first aid. Medical evacuation of the sick and wounded. With medical care is the responsibility of the medical personnel who have been provided special training and equipment. Therefore, unless there is an emergency, wait for some means of medical evacuation to be provided. When the situation is urgent and you are unable to obtain medical assistance or know that no medical evacuation facility may be available, you yourself will have to transport the casualty. For this reason, you must know how to transport without increasing the seriousness of his or her condition. Now, we have one more activity for you. Activity number 12.5 The school authorities must provide practical exposure to students by organizing a first aid training program in the campus. Page number 184 Assessment Answer the following questions. Question number 1 what is first aid? Question number two. What are the various kinds of injuries caused sometimes due to participation in sports? Question number three. What is a burn injury? How many kinds of burn injuries are there? Question number four. If someone gets a burn injury, what will you do first? Question number five. Mark the statements as true or false. Number one. A first aider must not panic so that she or he can help in early transportation of the victim to the hospital. Number two, when an injury occurs in sports, then the activity causing injury must be stopped immediately. 
ट्रू और फॉल्स नंबर थ्री फर्स्ट एड इज मेंट फॉर स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन ओनली ट्रू और फॉल्स नंबर फोर द प्राइमरी एम ऑफ द फर्स्ट एड इज टू सेव द लाइफ ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल ट्रू और फॉल्स नंबर फाइव फर्स्ट एड इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय अ मेडिकल डॉक्टर ओनली ट्रू और फॉल्स नाउ वी हैव अ प्रोजेक्ट फॉर यू नंबर वन लिस्ट द आइटम्स विच शुड बी केप्ड इन द फर्स्ट एड बॉक्स नंबर टू प्रिपेयर अ फर्स्ट एड किट इन कॉन्सल्टेशन विद द टीचर कंसर्न Keep it in the classroom. Activity twelve point one. Number three. Discuss with students how you will ensure that all items are always present in the first aid box. You are just listening to this audio book. Narrator: Neeraj Yadav. Technical coordinator: Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist: Mayank Kumar. Assistants in production: Ruchi Sharma. Directed and produced by. Vimalesh Choudhary This audio book is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi India